Hello there. I'm Lee Irwin with Clarksville Now, and we're going to do some reading. Well, actually, I'm going to do some reading, and you can do the listening, and I hope you enjoy it, because I enjoy reading, especially to you. Did you know that there are some really wacky words that start with a silent letter? I'm sure you can think of one. Most of the time, you can just ignore that pesky first letter and sound out the rest of the word, most of the time. But be careful. There are other words in this book that don't follow the rules. And it's very important to try to follow the rules when you can. So, let's start with A. A is for aisle. The bread aisle has not been cleaned in aeons? No, eons. And nine tiny beasts meet to have a feast. B is for... Bedellium? No, it's for delium. We doubt anyone knows what bedellium is, but it's the only word dumb enough to begin with a silent B. Shh. The fascinating czar is secretly part Czech. C? C is for czar. C-Z-A-R. And he's part Czech. D is for Djibouti. Now the boat race begins when the handsome judge from Djibouti drops his handkerchief from the the bridge. No, just the bridge. E is for you. Eileen, the you was so euphoric the wolves were eaten. She even gave the eulogy. That's a good description of E. F is not for photo, P-H-O-T-O, phlegm, phooey, or phone. F is only for photo when you speak fluent Spanish at home. G is for gnocchi, or nochi. I'm not sure what a nochi is, but the gnome yells, Waiter, there's a bright white gnat nibbling on my... Nochi. I don't know if I've ever eaten a nochi. H is for air. The honest air admits that herbalism isn't his cup of tea. I think I said herbalism. Herbalism, one or the other. I is not for I, E-Y-E. We ask the pirate if he has two eyes, and he said... I, I. J is for Jayalaya. Juanita and Bjorn happily played Jailai, or Hailai rather, before eating the fajitas in Juarez. K is for knight. The noble knight's knife nicked the knave's knee. That's a difficult one. L is not for L. An elephant named L rode the L train halfway to El Paso and dined on hearts of palm with her folks. M is for mononic. But no, that, there we go, you have to edit that out. <laughs> M is for mnemonic. I should have read the book first, don't you think? But now, Mr. M can't remember why. N is not for not. N is for naughty children who will sing a solemn hymn when autumn comes to an end. O is for Ouija. Now, the French leopard says, We, we'd love to play Ouija with the Wee Witch from Owaxa. I think I've got that one right. P is for Pterodactyl. This is my favorite. Potomoli, the psychic Pterodactyl, struggles with psoriasis. Q is for Quinoa. Now, we can enjoy Quinoa and Quiche by the K's of Qatar. Actually, it's quiche. 
not cache. I was just saying if you were if you were listening. R is not for R. In England, the Queen proclaims we aren't saying the R's in butterfly, shark, or lizard. Now S is for seas. CC swam through the debris in the seas to see the imaginary isle of New Arkansas. T is for tsunami. The charging tsunami washed away all of Shikowsky's something here. I'm not sure what that is. That might be uh, Shikati's, okay? Whatever those are. U is not for you. You never could have guessed that the wolf was disguised as a you. Remember you earlier? Now, I... Oh, V is for five. That's where we are here. V is for five. How romantic or romantic. But romantic is what we're talking about here. We have the Roman numerals. <laughs> w is for wren. The wren wrapped the rabbit's gift in red but forgot to write a note. X is for xylophone. Now, Xavier's extra arm made him an exceptional xylophone player. We're almost done. We're at Y. Y is not for why. But Eves, who is wearing yellow shorts, yells, Why is the Eiffel Tower upside down? And what's our final letter? Z. Z is for Zhivago. Good night, Zhivago, the zebra. I've enjoyed our rendezvous. And snoring. <gasps> okay. Thank you all very much. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Made a few boo-boos, but that's okay. Bye-bye.